Okay guys, welcome back. So today we are going to see uh, chapter 2 demand. Okay, demand chapter section E. Okay, this is going to be one of the, what is say, longest chapters, right? Most important chapter. Right? Expect from this chapter 10 marks, right? Demand. And normally students do get confused in this uh, chapter. Conceptual understanding is much, much more important here. It's very easy. Concepts are going to be very easy. But when they are going to be mixed and asked, yes, students tend to get uh, what is a mixed up, by the way. Right? That is how it happens. So, we are going to see, uh, break this uh, into two parts, maybe. Into two parts today and tomorrow. Also, we will be covering it. Right? It's a long chapter. Right? Most important and most interesting chapter also. Okay, done. This would be the learning outcomes from this chapter, right? Demand and what is the various determinants, law of demand, a lot of things you are going to see in this chapter. Right, what first demand means? What does demand mean according to you? Tell me, what does demand meaning? It's like this cute little baby is like, I want water right now, right here. Is that demand? Huh? Tell me. Hey, Maga, give it to me. Is that demand? What is demand according to you? Or let's say uh, Thanos Babu is like, huh? I want this car. Give it to me. Is that demand? What is demand? Tell me. What is your understanding? Desire, okay. He's saying demand is desire. Okay, I want this car. So, car manufacturer should uh, produce this car for me. What is demand? Tell me. Hmm? Think about it. Let's keep it interactive. If you don't spare, uh, speak on it, then it, I will not also not tell so many things. Demand is a quantity of commodities that the consumer is willing and able to buy with his income. Ah, oh, good. Right? Then, he's come more or less, one of the students has come more or less closer. We'll bisect this effective demand. Okay? There are certain conditions to be, uh, what do you say, fulfilling for demand. The first condition is desire. I should have a desire for the product. That's the first condition to qualify as demand. Second condition is money or ability to purchase. Money or ability to purchase. You can say. Or means to purchase. Means through which they are going to buy. Ability to purchase that is the second condition you should qualify third condition is willingness to spend money willingness to spend money now we'll give examples and through that we'll try to understand this okay now i wanted to buy this car i like this car i want it right nice car how much it will cost two crores okay Let's take me as an example itself. Do I have the desire to buy the car? Yes. Yes. Very good. Do I have the means to buy this car? Surely I don't have. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> right? I don't have that much money. <laughs> if I have, I will not be doing this. <laughs> I'll be driving now. Correct? <laughs> sure. So I am off here itself. I don't have means itself. Right? I don't have the ability to pay. I don't have that means to pay. I don't have money. Basically, ability to pay is off. So, I will not qualify. Now, we will take that first example car. Go in the... We will take iPhone now. Okay. iPhone. Now, I like iPhone. Yes, I like iPhone. He is like shaking. Yeah, you like iPhone. I should say it. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, I like iPhone. Okay. 
Do you have the ability to purchase an iPhone? I have. I have, <laughs> I have some some savings. I have, right? I have the ability to buy the iPhone. I have the money. Okay. Now third condition: willingness to spend the money. Do I am willing to spend the money? Answer is no. I am not willing to spend the money which I have to buy an iPhone. So the third qualification I am not meeting. So I will not constitute demand for iPhone. Are you guys getting it? Hmm? Now let's take an example of the third product, calend uh, calculator. Okay, calculator. Now do I want this <laughs> calculator? Imagine I have the desire calculator. I want. I have the desire, right? Money? Do I have to buy this calculator? Of course I have. Am I willing to spend that much money? Yeah, one sixty rupees. I will be willing to spend and buy the calculator. Now I constitute demand for the calculator. Okay, so three things have to be checked for to constitute a demand, effective demand. Are we clear? Only having desire will not match. You should have the desire. You should have the ability as well as willingness. Then only it will constitute effective demand. Are we clear here? Now, to further uh, state, demand is always expressed. To quantify demand, this is the effective demand. But to express demand, you will express it in for a particular price and for a particular period of time. We'll try to illustrate with an example so that we understand this. Let's take potato. Potato. You all like potatoes? Hmm. Now, do I have desire for potatoes? Yes, we have. Do I have money? I have money. Am I willing to spend that money? I am willing to spend money. But you are forgetting. You have money for what? For a particular price, you might have money. The potato subconsciously you are thinking, ah, potato will be ten rupees. Correct? Yes or no? So if I say ten rupees, you have. What is it? The money. So you have to quantify for a particular price. Demand should be always expressed for a particular price. Then only you can say you have money or willingness to buy it. Are we clear here? So demand will always expressed for a particular price. If I say ten ten uh, crores, will you buy a potato? You won't have money till that is a loss. Okay. So demand is always expressed for a price okay now particular period of time will come to particular period of time okay now one potato right let's say you're going to buy a potato per day you might require let's say per week you might require 1 kg 1 kg of potato per week right if i have to say how much you would need it for a month how much will you say You might require four kgs per month, right? So demand is changing according to the time period. Yes or no? It's not constant. It is always changing for a particular time period. Are we clear here? So demand should be expressed for a price as well as for a what time period? Ten rupees. I will. I mean, I have one kg of demand. For ten rupees for one week, that is how you express demand always. Demand is always in economics is expressed in this way. Okay, the ability to and a willingness to purchase a product for a particular price and a particular period of time is known as demand. Are we clear here? All. So demand refers to the quantity of uh, goods and services, and the consumers are willing and able to do purchase at the various prices and given period of time. Now, because it's a given period of time, it is not always a stagnant product. It's a flowing concept. Every week you'll change. You'll say this much for this much period. So demand is a flow concept, which is not stagnant. We call a concept as a flow concept. So demand is always a flow concept, right? So can we answer this question, please? 
So demand for a commodity refers to what? A desire backed by ability to pay or need for a commodity and willingness to pay for it. The quantity demanded for of, of the commodity at a certain price. D quantity of the uh, commodity demanded at the certain price during a particular period of time. Which one is the answer? Answer is D. Right? Quantity of commodity demanded at a certain period of price and time. We clear? Right? Now, we'll move on to determinants of demand. Determinants of demand. What is determinants of demand means? Factors which determine demand, we call it as determinants of demand. Factors which determine demand, we call it as determinants of demand. So what are the determinants we are going to see? There are a lot of determinants. Price of a commodity, price of related commodities, income of a consumer, taste and preferences, consumer expectation. All these things affect demand. And we are going to see one by one each in detail to understand what it is. Are we clear? No. So before that, as usual, we will see a video and then we will take a look at that. Yeah. Let's imagine we are all consumers. What makes us want to buy more apples or fewer apples? Prices. At two dollars, we'll say, nah, it's too expensive. Let's just get one. But if price drops to one dollar, we'll say, cool, let's get three apples now. Tastes and preferences. Hey, I saw an advert today. Apples are good for health. All of a sudden, I want to buy more apples. When tastes shift towards apples, demand for apples increases. Price of compliments. We say goods are complements of each other when they are normally bought together. For example, printer and ink cartridges, or bread and jam. If bread gets cheaper, what happens to our demand for jam? Well, bread gets cheaper, we buy more bread, so we'll buy more jam. Price of substitutes. Substitutes are goods that are bought for the same purpose. For instance, Pepsi and Coke are substitutes. When price of Pepsi drops, we'll start to think, hey, let's buy fewer cans of Coke and switch to Pepsi. They are the same thing anyway. So when price of Pepsi drops, demand for Coke decreases. Income. You know, we all have this lust for material stuff and we think that when we make more money, we are going to buy more of this and this and that. These goods are called normal goods. When our income increases, we want to get more normal goods like cars. There's another category of goods called inferior goods. For example, food from roadside stalls. Perhaps your income increases and think this food is inferior. You have more money, you want to eat in a restaurant now. When our income increases, we demand fewer inferior goods. Expectation of prices There's a drought going on in Thailand. Shortage of rice in the near future is expected. Crap! No rice? Man, I think the price of rice is going to increase. Better go buy and stock up some rice now. So if we think future prices of rice will increase, our demand for rice today increases. Population When the number of people on an island increases, the demand for houses increases. When population increases, demand for something will increase. So this is the summary. But hey, there are so many factors affecting demand. I'm getting confused. How do I graph the demand curve? If you like this video, remember... Yeah, 
So uh, this is just a fast, uh, I mean, fast forwarding thing. Just to give you an idea of it, we'll be seeing one by one in detailed, right? I'll be explaining everything. Don't worry if you do, if you are not understood. If you are understood, well and good, right? Now, price of a commodity. How does a price of a commodity affect? Yesterday itself we saw, right? How price of a commodity affect demand, right? But anyhow, we'll see. In simple sense. If price is going up, what will happen? Demand will fall. See, Thanos Babu left. Right? Thanos, uh, his price went up. Thanos Babu left. So that is how it is. If price comes down, more customers will come and buy it. Uh, Babu will come back. Right? That is how it is. So thumb rule is: price goes up, demand comes down. If price goes down, demand goes. Okay, price goes up, demand comes down. Okay, don't say demand goes down, price goes up. That is wrong. Are we clear? Any questions here? No. This is very simple, straightforward. Right. Now, prices of related commodities. How does it affect demand? We are going to see. Okay. First, before we go to prices of related commodities, first we will understand what is a related commodity. Okay. Related commodity means what? There are two types of related commodity. One is complementary goods. One is complementary goods. The second one is called as substitute goods. One is called as complementary goods. Next one is called as substitute goods. Now, what is complementary goods which complement each other? Or in simple terms, can, will be used together will be used to gather for example tea and sugar or milk and sugar you can take it as pen and ink right these are complementary goods which are used together right ipad and pen right all these are complementary goods are we clear what is substitute goods goods which are used for each other or which can substitute each other. If this is not there, you can use this product and go ahead. That is called substitute goods. Okay. Example, Pepsi and Coke, right? Pen and pencil sometimes, right? Coffee, tea, right? These are all substitute goods. Now we are going to see how price of complementary goods going to affect the demand of the good. Okay, now I'll again repeat it, right? We are going to analyze here what, how price of the related commodity going to affect the product. Okay, if you're still not clear, I'll tell you what, why am I emphasizing this? Very important. So it is like you are here, correct? If price, uh, let's say in this sentence, your mark sheet, you're taking your mark sheet and going. If marks are good, your marks are good, your parents will what? They will be happy, they will be clapping, right? If your marks are low, they will be scolding you. That is price of the demand, you can connect to that. But here, we are not comparing your marks, we are comparing price of the related commodity that is price of I mean mark score of your friend okay how mark score of your friend is going to affect you at your house is what we are going to see that is how the price of the related commodity is going to affect your demand of that particular product that is what we are going to see have you got the essence of what I'm trying to convey very important because normally students get wrong here are we clear now, now what we are going to see is how does price of complementary good that is pen is going to affect the demand of ink. That is what we are going to see. Oh, price of pen is going to affect demand of ink. Okay, we'll see. If prices of pen comes down, if prices of pen comes down, what will happen to the ink? 
hmm? what will happen to the demand of ink see if prices of pen decreases right prices of pen decreases you won't you buy more of pen logically to use pen what will you do you need ink so demand of ink also will increase so demand of ink will increase that is the logic you have to use when you are doing with complementary goods okay if price of a complementary goods come down your demand for that product will increase right or if i if you want to do one cheat code i'll tell you one cheat code here yeah. you always remember this right you know complementary goods means you are going to use this two together you are going to use two this two together if price is going to come down you can always say demand is going to increase for both the products if price of ink also falls demand of pen will increase okay so complementary goods if prices fall demand will increase you can take it like that because you are using it together are we clear here now if prices of pen increases what will happen to the demand of ink will decrease are we clear simple hmm now we will see what is a okay we'll see this and come then we'll go to complementary i mean substitute complementary goods goods which are consumed together and simult or simultaneously example we saw if price if price of one good causes for the other to go down if there is fall in one price the demand of the other will go up what do you see there is some relationship here something is going down the other thing is coming up that is we see a inverse relationship if something is going down if something is going up right we call this relationship as inverse relationship uh, you have heard in max right this yes or no if something is going down this is also going down means what we call it as direct relationship positive relationship right but here some prices of pen goes down demand of the ink is increasing so there is an inverse relationship so what is the inverse relationship between read it there is an inverse relationship between demand for the good demand for the good and price of its complement price of its complement in our pen and pencil example if i i mean pen and ink example there's an inverse relationship between demand for ink and price of of pen are we clear here are we clear here so if you have to take this example connected with what is a connected with this see if you see a price of the commodity if price is increasing demand is decreasing correct here also inverse relationship here also inverse can i say this is also inverse relationship price goes up demand comes down this is also inverse relationship but there is a inverse relationship between price of the commodity and demand of the commodity itself are we getting it very important to understand this right there is a inverse relationship between price of the chocolate milk and demand of the chocolate milk itself here whereas here there is a inverse relationship between ink demand of ink and price of the complement that is pen very important to understand this your students leave it Ah, uh, they will say inverse relationship. MCQ, they will ask which students normally get it wrong. Are we clear with this? Hmm. All clear. Any questions online? Done. Now we'll go to substitute goods. Substitute goods are used for each other, right? Now, if 
price decreases for pepsi what will happen to the demand of coke think of it logically price of pepsi falls what will happen to the demand of coke here hmm demand of coke will decrease will decrease now if price of pepsi increases demand of coke will be increasing okay we will before we move on i'll tell you the logic behind this so that you can understand with logic right now if price of pepsi is increasing or students will get confused in this moreover if price of pepsi is decreasing why is coke demand is decreasing sir what wrong has coke done sir why should should demand should decrease you will ask me i'll explain it to you now let's assume the uh, what is a let's assume prices of both the products to be 10 rupees each 10 rupees each right now prices of pepsi is going to fall to 9 rupees okay you are the consumer okay the stick figure is there no is you now before it falls before it was falling where would where would you go tell me you will not mind you will go to pepsi some of you will go to pepsi some of you will go to coke correct yes or no yes but once price fell to 9 rupees once price fell to 9 rupees now where will you go you will go to running to pepsi right it's cheaper for you so demand for coke will fall that is what is happening that's the logic behind it so if you have to read it fall in price of one leads to fall in in the quantity demand of its substitute so fall fall correct rise rise there is a positive or direct relationship between demand for the product and price of its substitute what is it there is a positive relationship between demand of for a product and price of its substitute are we clear here very important to understand this because lot of things are linked to this and don't worry i will not be letting you simply go by force or by hook or crook i'll make you understand this because we will be doing 100 sums here okay by that itself by torture itself you will understand this uh, what to say concepts okay done which of the following is a pair of uh, goods is an example of substitute can you answer t and t and coffee is a substitute goods right okay if price of uh, i would request everyone to take a book right pen and paper start working out you can't uh, what is as a rookie you can't be doing in your mind you will uh, lose i mean take a pen and paper everyone right what i want you to do is write it down see where will the customer go right for the beginning level at least later you will be able to understand our positive relationship means if this goes up this will by nature it will come to you but first you have to solve it okay now if price of pepsi decreases relative to the price of coke all right and seven up the demand of coke will decrease seven up will decrease coke seven up will increase or seven up coke will decrease what is the answer please answer it if i were you i would write pepsi coke seven up draw my stick figure right price of pepsi is decreasing they are saying correct where will the customer go now running pepsi now demand for coke and seven up what will happen decrease for pepsi will increase now demand for coke will decrease true seven up will decrease coke and seven up is decreasing right here answer is this are we clear here 
Are we clear all? We'll be doing more sums in the later once I complete all the determinants of demand. Okay, now just for a gist of an idea because I want to cover all the determinants, then I'll come to all these things. We'll be done doing more sums. Now, we'll go to the next determinant called as income of the consumer. How income of a consumer is going to affect what? Demand. What is income? What is income? Purchasing power. Okay, someone has read the book. Yeah. Getting professional answers means book only or read the slide. Yeah. Income means purchasing power only. <laughs> right? Under economics. Done. What is purchasing power? Ah, this is not there in the book. <laughs> ah, what is purchasing power? Power to purchase. Huh? Ability to purchase. You can take it as purchasing power means ability to purchase. If you have 100 rupees, Purchasing power is 100 rupees. That is, you have the ability to purchase for 100 rupees. Are we clear? That is income. Are we clear? Now, the relationship between income and quantity demanded depend upon the nature of the commodity. Depending upon the nature of the commodity, right, the relationship between income and what do you say? Income and demand is established. Are we clear? The relation between income and demand is established based on the nature of the commodity. So what is this nature? There are four types of nature. We are going to see one by one. Are we clear? The first nature is normal goods. Okay. Normal goods. You can... Uh, you need not read what is given. I'll explain it to you. Then you can take a look at it. Right? You be with me on this. Normal goods. Normal goods are normal goods which will... Demand for these product will increase as your income level increases. Demand for these products will increase as your income level increases. Then these goods are classified as normal goods. Are we, are we getting it? There is no clear definition at all. They are saying, if income increases and demand for these goods increases, then these goods are normal goods. For example, for your understanding, I have given household furniture, clothing, automobiles, right? All these things. Okay, there is no clear cut definition. As I told you, you cannot classify a product into normal, luxurious or essential. Like what we saw in the car, what is say wants. Remember, what is uh, what is normal for you might be luxurious for others. Are we clear? So here the the definition of normal good is demand will increase as income increases. In in, in uh, economics, income is represented as y. Okay, y, y. I don't know. <laughs> right, <laughs> represented as y. Right. Now, second type of classification is called as essential commodities. Essential commodities. Now, here, if your income increases, right? If your income increases, demand for these products increase. Demand for these products increase. But demand for these products will not increase as much as your income increase. That is to say, the increase in demand will be less than increase in income. To give an example, let's say salt. Okay. Let's say you have completed your CA. Full on. Okay. You got uh, placed in, uh, which company do you want to get placed in? Wipro, he wants to get in Wipro. Okay. As what? CFO. Okay. Why? He got from uh, what he, he was doing article ship in Wipro. He was working at 10,000 10, rupees, 15,000 only. They'll give. Now he's completed CA. He's like, collar is all up. He's put his collar full on up. Income is increased. To what? What salary you want? How much do I do? How 
what you want tell me negotiation we are doing mock interview here one i am ca for we pro 1 lakh it seems what was ha huh? anyhow let's say 1 crore hmm? why per month 1 crore correct now let's go into it right ha uh, he'll go to a shop right how much salt he'll buy when he was earning 10000 also he'll buy let's say 1 kg per month that is also too much but i will buy 1 kg per month because he got 1 crore will he buy more salt what he'll do maximum uh, could uh, give me what is it 1.5 he'll say right max to max yes or no so income is increasing so much from 10000 to 1 crore but his expenditure on essential products will not increase that is why it's called as essential consumer for these products income is increasing demand also increases but it will increase at a lesser proportion right are we clear are we all clear done now we'll come to inferior goods inferior goods ah uh, our ca cf of pipro has come first when he was article ship and all he was going eating that pani puri shop and all is there no he used to eat pani puri right he used to eat that the nice dirty bob water and all he used to put in like ekdam water pani puri he used to say now he got promoted no board of directors are all there people are there like who will go to that pani puri shop let's go to five star right or he'll call five star pani puri he'll say go to five star and have one pani puri and come but understand here his income increased but demand for that roadside pani puri what happened it decreased yes or no so those kind of products are we classify as inferior goods wherein your income increases demand decreases for these products then we classify as inferior goods to give another example or see if hotel will take why you want to go elsewhere before he was catching bus and going all what is he used to wear mask and all proper corona no i don't know when he got promoted full on he was wearing mask everything and sanitizer and going in bus right got promoted next day he went and bought car okay but what happened to the demand of the he, now he is going by car full on ac car only but what happened to the demand of the t- uh, ticket for the bus it decreased that is income increased right these products we call it as inferior goods okay now you cannot again say sir roadside pani puri means inferior goods sir, sir no nothing like that what is inferior to you might not be inferior to others the condition is like this if income increases demand for that product decreases we classify that product as inferior that's all it is okay are we are we clear on this done now luxurious and last product of classification is luxurious and prestigious goods we'll see beyond a certain income right you will start buying this right now what he will do beyond a certain income your cfo has gone to 1 crore now what he will do he will start buying diamond rings for who i do not know right he will start buying diamond rings gold everything he will start buying and giving gifting right he will celebrate all the valentines day from teddy day to everything <laughs> all days he will be gifting so beyond a certain level of income the demand will keep on increasing for these goods okay up to a certain point no demand will be there beyond certain income you start buying them okay those are go- called as luxurious goods are we clear how the income and demand are interlinked here right to uh, sum it up for normal goods income increases demand increases for essential goods income increases demand increases but in the lesser proportionate for inferior goods income increases demand decreases for luxurious and prestigious goods 
beyond the income uh, income level this demand will continue to increase are we clear any questions online any questions clear sir now we'll go to then third determinant that is taste and preferences of a consumer taste and preferences of a consumer how is taste and preferences are determined tell me anyone any vegetarians you eat only vegetarian i eat only non veg okay how is my taste determined how is your preferences determined your preferences determined by what you see right you are getting influenced by what you are trained on that i got influenced by what is trained on right this influence we call it as demonstration effect this influence we call it as what demonstration effect are we clear with this so or bandwagon effect bandwagon effect so our influence which are demand is getting affected because what we see and we like it or we don't like it based on that our influences are affected so this demonstration effect right can be uh, classified into two types one is snob and another is webelin demonstration effect can be classified into snob or webelin when you see something you might like it you want to do it when you see something you might not like it you do not want to do it right there are two the subdivision no that is the same sub two subdivision snob effect you see it you don't like it you do not want to do it kind of a thing but we'll see what is snob effect the product becomes so common some people decrease altogether stop its consumption this is called as snob effect right now when facebook came in 2000s uh, what is a 17 18 now uh, uh, sorry 13 13 now uh, 7 now uh, 2007 now uh, yeah 2007 to 10 only it would have reached you right all of you install facebook full on using it maybe no you you guys did not use it guy was using it at 8 standard 9 standard all full on chatting full on that time what is it whatsapp was not there or maybe all other all we were using it so much now everyone is there in facebook like do you use facebook so much now you might not use it as much as you want it right because it became so common it got bored there's nothing special in it first time it was kick um friends i had you as a friend and all now it has become so common it's getting bored that is an example of snob effect okay or you can uh, take it as also one of the things like uh, let's say everyone is wearing a uh, red shirt will you buy red shirt you'll be like everyone is wearing red shirt i do not want to wear it it's too becoming too common i want to be different right that is snob effect. now opposite to that weblen effect what is weblen effect highly priced goods are consumed by sticker seeking symbol rich people to satisfy their conspicuous consumption now weblen effect means someone is doing it and you like what you see right and you want to do it for example uh gold right why gold is it's a rock at the end of the day gold diamond is a rock is yes or no but why does it adds value when you wear it as a ring because people look into it. ah it's very precious that's it it's a sentiment which we hold that's it there is nothing else to it right you have a sentiment towards the diamond ah it's cost hey, someone is wearing diamond means he is rich right you have that sentiment to it right that is why it is a for that it's called as weblen effect are we clear because it's rich or if you want to it's very costly you want to buy that product that effect is inducing you to buy more right that is called, that effect is called as weblen effect are we clear any questions no okay then consumer expectation we'll see consumer expectation how does it affect demand now consumer expectation regarding future prices income supply condition all affect demand we'll see one by one and we'll see how it is now regarding future prices right you know petrol prices are uh, day to day increasing 
Yes or no? Now, tomorrow they say prices of petrol going to increase to 110. What will you do? You will run if your pe petrol tank is almost empty, let's think. What you will do? You will run today, fill the petrol, correct? Because it's going to be jumping by 10 rupees per liter, maybe, right? So what has happened in demand for today? is increasing if you expect the price to increase tomorrow demand for the product is increasing today itself vice versa we'll put it we expect the price to fall tomorrow let's say the prices of petrol is going to fall tomorrow what will you do you will put it tomorrow you will like okay let me wait till tomorrow and put it so demand for today what happens decreases okay if expect the increase in future prices increase there will be more quantity demanded if you expect a decrease in future prices there will be less quantity demanded right now are we clear here similarly income you expect a promotion right what will you do you will buy more things in EMA I am getting promotion next week I will pay my EMA option with my promotion money or bonus yes or no will you, won't you think like that so you will buy more from today itself making sense or supply condition this all happened with the snow modi ji came and told ah lockdown by ah what you did went <laughs> social this thing ah anna shop is important go and buy right immediately supply condition you thought supply would be not there so you went to the store and started buying right demand for the product increased if you when you are there uh, supply will be there for everyone you then you realize supply i mean demand came down right we expect the pr future prices increase uh, income or there is shortage in supply if you think of these demand will increase are we clear here if it's not so important what you will do you will postpone your purchase if it's not essential item you will postpone your income See, determinants of demand, there are thousands of things why demand gets uh, affected or why demand changes. We cannot pinpoint one thing and tell why demand gets affected. There are thousands of reasons to it. For example, size of population, level of national income, consumer credit facility, interest rate, tax rate. They can ask you n number of questions in this. You should be in a practical world. You should apply your common sense and try to answer this questions okay you should be knowing what is a marriage uh, ma marital status how does marital status uh, work if you are married and you have kids you might buy kids product right if you are a bachelor will you buy kids product no right so these things questions can come anyhow in any form right you should be in a position to analyze it Okay, will this increase demand or decrease in demand and answer the exam. Are we clear? So can we do some sums now? Yes. What will happen in the rice market if buyers are expecting a higher rice price in the near future? What will happen in the rice market if the buyer are expecting higher rice prices in the near future? What will happen to the demand of today? Demand for rice for today will increase. Okay. All of the following are determinants except for what? All of the following are determinants of demand except for quantity supplied. As per income increases, quantity demand also of a good decreases. The good is called as what? Good is called as inferior right if income increases and quantity demand decreases we call it as inferior yes if price of tomato increases people buy tomato puree you infer that tomato puree and tomato are hmm, are substitute goods Instead of tomato puree, you are going to use tomato, I mean, instead of tomato, you are going to use tomato puree. Then they are substitute, no? On which of the following, the effective demand for things are? 
there should be desire there should be ability there should be willingness so all of the above purchasing power refers to what what does purchasing power refer to the ability availability of money with the consumer to purchase the commodity right if purchasing power of the money falls when what when when price increases so i'll just explain here so if you have 100 rupees right if you want to buy apples with our worth 10 rupees how many apples can you buy hmm 10 apples you can buy yes or no if price increases to 20 rupees of apples then how many apples you will buy able to buy only 5 isn't your purchasing power from 10 it is becoming 5 so that is why purchasing power of money falls when price increases are we clear now individual demand is also called as okay this we will come to that later yeah which of the following is not a determinant of demand which of the following is not a determinant of demand none of the above price is a determinant of demand price of related commodities level of income everything right yes which of the following are determinants of demand except quantity supplied very simple when a consumer prefers a commodity due to prestige attached to it is known as what effect when a consumer prefers a commodity due to prestige attached to it it's called as veblen effect veblen effect is under demonstration effect so answer is demonstration effect when a yes when a consumer wants a product by seeing others person use it it's called as what demonstration effect right okay goods covered by demonstrate can be best described as what conspicuous necessities we'll see what it is later on okay goods dash are goods which are consumed together and simultaneously complementary goods complementary goods are which are used together and simultaneously the demand for two wheeler is likely to decrease with increase in petrol prices because two wheeler and petrol are are complementary goods right which of these two are not complementary goods for pen which of these is not a complementary good for pen ha huh? wheat is not a complementary good one student was sir wheat and uh, right no sir it's complementary together using hmm if an increase in pen price of blue jeans lead to increase in demand for tennis shoes then price i mean then blue jeans and tennis shoes are what hmm if increase in price of blue jeans lead to increase in demand of goods then blue jeans and tennis shoes are substitutes okay so ask you once you are getting uh, nervous huh why in case of complementary goods decrease in price of a good product will what decrease in the price of the commodity will increase the demand of the other good are we clear done if x and y are complementary goods the price of x and demand y are inversely related right if x and y are complementary there is a decrease in price of x then what will happen what will happen hmm a see understand x and y are complementary goods if there is a decrease in by a uh, price of x okay demand of x and y will increase i told you no Pri well, let's take 
I'll take this example as pen and ink. Then you yourself think about it. You will yourself find the answer. If pen and ink are complementary goods, if there is a decrease in price of pen, then what? Pri demand of pen and ink will increase, no? Right? Get used to on that. Substitute goods are goods which can be used. What in place of other? Yes. If X and Y are substitute goods, the price of X and the demand of Y are directly related. Please answer this. If price of the product A increases relative to the price of substitute B and C, the demand for you have to write here. You can't think and do it and all. You guys are very what is a newbies to the subjects. If you are thinking about it and doing it, it will not work. Write it. Write and tell the things. Because what you sow here is what you grow, right? So write it. If price of product increases, right? A, B, C is your product. If product price of A is increasing, draw yourself. Where will you go now? You will run to B and C. Right? So what will they say? B and C, demand for B and C will increase. That's how you have to write. Right? So get used to all these things. Over a period of time, you can go on right like it's like a cycle riding you need that four chakras right to learn to balance once you learn to balance you can remove that two support beads then you can drive yes can we read this in case of substitute goods increase in price of a product will in case of substitute goods increase in price of a product will will increase the demand for the other good right direct relationship price increase in price of a product will lead to increase in demand of the other good that's how it is if x and y are substitute goods if price of x and demand of y are directly related okay okay now we'll do this some if X and Y are substitute goods, if there is an increase in price Y, then you have to think, take your pen and paper, write. See, while teaching, you might understand whatever I say, but when it comes to questions, you should be able to apply it. If you're not able to apply it, then you have to pause the video, go back, see it again. Have you really understood the concept? Then come back and see it. See, understand here, X, Y are substitute goods. If there is increase in price of Y, what will happen? Sorry, X. What will happen to X demand? First of all, it will fall. What will happen to Y demand? See, this one. Draw. Please, please, please write X, Y here. I don't know why you are not doing that. Right? Then draw your stick figure. Then say, if there is increase in price of X, where will you run? Y. So you will not run here, what they are saying here, right? Demand of X will decrease? Yes. Demand of Y will increase? Answer is A, that's the answer, right? What effect does increase in price of a product have on purchasing power of a consumer? What effect does an increase in price of a product have on purchasing power of a consumer? All English, this is nothing else. Break it down. What does increase in price? What the increase in price means? Price is getting increased. Effect have on purchasing power. If price increases, won't your purchasing power decrease? 
your ability to buy will be less so it will have a decrease effect that's all it is answer is right if demand decreases with increase in income money income of a consumer such good are called demand decreases with increase in money income of a consumer such goods are called as getting confused or demand is decreasing increase in income when will this happen inferior and i write it down it's simple this for you but you when questions are asking you are not understanding hmm yes income levels increases the demand for the good increases but lesser proportionate extent such good will be considered as what they are saying income increases demand increases but in a lesser proportionate when will this happen necessary goods right as income level increases beyond certain extent of propensity to consume what income level increases beyond a certain level the propensity to consume will increase you will tend to spend more is what they are trying to say in case of unequal distribution of income in a country the propensity to consume will be dash and the demand for the consumer goods will be dash unequal distribution means of income means we studied day before yesterday i guess not everyone in the nation has equal money right so the ability to consume will be what lower right first is lower the demand for the consumer goods will be consumer goods means daily staples right capital goods are like car will you buy car or food food right so answer is c are we clear if a consumer expects an increase in price of a product in future its current demand will be what b i o demand is affected by weather conditions and seasonal aspects also the statement is true or false or partially true hm <laughs> demand is affected by weather condition and seasonal aspect right if it's raining heavily won't you buy umbrellas more right corona season you will buy more <laughs> masks right that Are we clear? Done. We'll take fifteen minutes break, right? Mm -hmm.